Reggie Miller was at the Lakers game Sunday night following Kobe's announcement and tweeted this photo of a hug the two shared and then led his Twitter followers to his Instagram account by teasing that he would reveal what he shared with Kobe during that embrace. Reggie, very savvy social media move. So <laughs> what, what did you say to him? Hey, I just told him congratulations. And um, we all know, you know, especially to play 20 years in the NBA with 82 games and the amount of mileage on Kobe's legs from playoffs, um, things a lot of people forget too is his, <clears throat> excuse me, his international play, playing on Team USA. All the miles that Kobe has accumulated, and to have such a stellar career, I just said congratulations. Enjoy this time right now because, you know, he's never been big on you know big parades and people patting him on his back. And for the next four months, four and a half months, I was like, hey, enjoy this. I know you don't want it, but. You owe it to the fans for everyone to pat you on the back and say, job well done, my friend. When he walks off for the final time, what is the most important legacy from his career? Well, I, I've said this before. In my opinion, obviously, he is the third best guard to ever play the game, and that's behind Magic Johnson and obviously Michael Jordan. And, look, we could talk about the numbers all you want, um, but – to win three championships when you know Shaq was the Batman and he was so called the Robin, and then to come back and win two more, being in the Batman role and to win five championships, um, speaks enough for itself. Uh, I think his demeanor and the way he approached the game, um, you know, a lot of people say, "Look, we've seen this before in Michael Jordan," but that's okay. I'm all right with it. Um, how he, you know, performed in the big moments. Uh, I think a lot of this will be part of his legacy, is how he wheeled himself uh, for 20 years at the shooting guard position. Bones, 3D, you know how that position is. You know how physical and picking up guys full court, how demanding it can be. And to play 20 years at a high level, I applaud the man. I can't wait to follow you on Snapchat, Reggie. Um, I wanted to ask you two, two questions, Reggie. Sure. It, was there an evolution to Kobe's game that you felt there was a point where he crossed over uh, into being a different player? And then number two, is he really the last of a breed of players that has this kind of mentality, this, this sort of maniacal mentality to take over anything that he's doing that we're going to see for a time? Well, in terms of his games, you know, he's so closely, you know, people say him and MJ, you know, were cut from the same cloth. Yes, but in my opinion, Kobe was a much better outside shooter than MJ. MJ evolved into a good outside shooter, but Kobe from the outset was a, a really good and efficient three-point shooter. Um, and as a, you know, to me, I, I think he didn't have the post-up game that MJ had, but, you know, when I look at both of them, because <clears throat> obviously both of these guys gave me my lunches on a nightly basis, they're both so efficient at b always being in attack mode. And as much as I tried offensively to go right back at them, both guys were so good offensively and so talented. And to me, the fundamentals of the game, I always said Michael Jordan had the best fundamentals. If, if Michael is 1A, Kobe was 1B in terms of fundamentals. And, and Reggie, I got a basketball question for you. You know each night you go in and you get a scouting report for every game. We all sit there in our little cubicles and we look at that scouting report. What went through your mind you said, okay, I'm guarding Kobe tonight? What was your mind sight on a given night? Well, I knew if he went left, he was going to try to do a step back. If I knew he went right, he was always going to try to finish dunking on Rick Smith. <laughs> so <laughs> what, I, what I tried to do was, number one, evaluate how his jump shot was going that night. Again, I started by saying that he was one of the better jump shooting, shooting guards. You know, people talk about his, you know, killer crossover and his off the dribble game, but he was a great outside shooter. So if his shot was going down, you were pretty much at his mercy. So for the most part, I tried to force him a left to take contested shots as most as possible. But if he got going right, and with that elevation and with that speed, he was uh, usually finishing at the rims, either over the Davis boys or Rick Smith. Good stuff, Reggie, as always. Uh, appreciate the time and the perspective on Kobe Bryant's career.
I appreciate it, gentlemen. Thank you. Look forward to following you on Pinterest. <laughs> <laughs>